Hey gang, welcome to We Got Issues, a show with self-proclaimed comic book experts talking about well important issues to us in the comic book community. Today I am joined with Chad, Angela, and Don, and I'm Paul, your Sup? kind of sort of host. And today our first topic is going to be are comics considered to be in the mainstream? Uh, and all right, gang, take it away. What are your thoughts? Um, the one thing I noticed this week was um, looking through, you know, hopping online and read an article that Sylvester Stallone had indicated that that Batman and comic, the comic book genre had kind of ended his type of muscle mu muscle bound movies and ushered in a new wave um, of t you know stylized movies. You know, he, he said something like, you know, if I knew that, if I knew now what I knew then, I would I would put a I would have put on Velcro too. Um, and it, it just kind of give you the indicator what you know that since then, you know, now we have, what, at least two or three comic book movies out every year for the last, what, three or four years now? So, uh, you know, it, it kind of led some credence to the fact that maybe it is you know, mainstream. I mean, you look at like San Diego Comic-Con, from what I've read, and some of the things, that, you just get to look at the blogs, you just look at some of the things that you see on like YouTube. I mean, you have like high profile, you know, superstars going to, going to Comic-Con now, like Angelina Jolie, like what, 10 years? You would have never seen like. Well, you know you're getting big too when the Christians are after you. I know, like I know, I know. Yeah, 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 we yeah. saw That's that. how you know you're getting somewhere when the evangelicals are out there protesting. You. Right, right. No, I don't, I don't think we're quite like, um, I don't think comics in general are like quite that mainstream. I mean, we're, we're getting there, but um, just from a retailer standpoint, um, I think our biggest concern is that uh, if comics books do, if comic books do go mainstream, then um, it's basically going to take business away from the local comic book stores, and it's going to go to the big stores like Barnes and Noble and stuff like that. And um, we definitely want to stay in business. So. <laughs> no, no, I, I, definitely. <laughs> I mean, like one, of, uh, it was another article that I, I was taking, a, I took a peek at, and you know, now that you have those, you know, Marvel and DC are trying to incorporate, you know, technology and, you know, with the iTouch, you know, iP mm -hmm. iPhones and, 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 and digital technology that, as we have it now and creating a digital comic. And, you know, that, and that's another, to some, that would seem like another indicator that it has gone mainstream to the fact that, you know, mm -hmm. you can just go <coughs> doom and you'd have your full comics. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying before, like, you know, would it be the ruination of the, of the comic book store? I don't think so. And like one of the points that the gentleman was saying that, you know, and how we've all gotten together and thus producing this show is a sense that, you know, we have a sense of community. You know, mm -hmm. it is a sense of community, you know, and you know, how we this this thing got birth was just uh, you know, us hanging out every Wednesday night mm -hmm. after after getting our comics, being all yes. to get our comics Loving and we would comics. just and we would just sit there and discuss, Hey, did you see that? You know, uh, or hey, did you read this? Mm -hmm. And I don't think that in some ways, I do think it'll be it's mainstream a little bit that you would have never thought in like tw you know, 20, 30 years ago, ago that 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 people that you would have saw like you said your mother, watching X Men <laughs> Origins Wolverine you know that would have never happened. Yeah, Hugh Jackman. Yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> my yeah, mom, for the record, my, my mom for the record loves all the X Men film movies. But that kind of brings me back to your original point about the Comic Con. I mean, how what was the main? Uh, what was one of the main topics there, if not the main topic, right. aside from the guy getting the pen in the eye, right. it was the Avengers movie right. and, and who was going to direct it and what everything looked like. Right. I mean, the comic book character, the comic book characters were really were the focus of what's gone mainstream. The right. comic book characters themselves are mainstream, but okay. the comic books, I would have to say, are not. I mean, to go even back to uh, Tim Burton's Batman film, mm -hmm. I mean. At that point, that was a great example of the comic books influencing the movie, going away from the Adam West Batman to um, to um, the, the something we're more familiar with from with the uh, cartoons and almost every single Batman that's come out. You know, okay. the comic books definitely influenced the movies, but mm -hmm. now it seems to be happening in reverse. I mean, the, who would have thought that uh, when the you know that a com that a comic book would be actually tailored to the movie, and that's what happened after the Dark Knight was released. They came out with that Joker graphic novel that was, uh, where the art was very much modeled on the Heath Ledger version. You're right, you know, same thing like you said, that the same thing with Blade. I mean, uh, when, uh, what, who, who would have thought that, what, 10 years ago, Wesley Snipes, you know, took this, you know, New Line Seminole movie, Blade, um, based on a Marv, Wolf, you know, Marv Wolfman's um, comic book series, you know, kind of modernized it somewhat, you know, made it a little bit more goth, a little bit more chic, a little bit more sexy. Took off and, the afro. Yeah, he did take off the afro, and he took off the green goggles, and, you know, um, <laughs> I was a little disappointed to go to Afro, but you know. <laughs> Didn't the Afro grow with the fangs? Uh, you know, like, no, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. But, you know, and 
and the fact that yeah, Wesley took his <laughs> took his demolition man character and just t instead of the the, oh. the blonde dye and just turned it black, I was like, okay. Yeah. And, and and what and as a result of that, you know, Marvel had spent what ten years trying, still and to this day still trying to figure out how to how to generalize that particular character that they birthed because of his uh, of his like you know his three pick deal and doing Blade and. In, so and every Blade comic right. looks like Wesley Slade. It's nice now. Yeah. They have everything about him except his tax problems. <laughs> do you think Jail that, problems. Do you think that people are probably responding to stories both in comics and films where it's more grounded in, in reality, like say like The Dark Knight or even Iron Man seems somewhat grounded in reality despite well, the fact I, that he's got a suit and can fly? I definitely think manga has an edge on that mm -hmm. because um, manga is just one of those forces that um, either like that I, I've seen that either you love it or you hate it like it's very hard for people like who are more traditional and they like the American comics to like switch over to manga because a lot of think is like ah oh, it's big eyes and and little cute like yeah, you know like they don't they don't want to <laughs> deal with it and, and that and the fact that they're in black and white is like a big problem for them but um, um but yeah, the, the same thing, thing, so many girls yeah. are getting into it because um, that's the thing about manga, there's like something for everybody in it. Okay. So they have, mm -hmm. you know. By that you mean different themes, genres, and stuff. Oh yeah, like oh, okay. they, they have an entire like line, um, I think it's called June, and it's basically just for working women in their 30s. That's who their target audience huh. is. So it deals with like these situations with like where these women have to like deal with coworkers and like, you know their families and how you know the parents want them to get married, just stuff like that. I mean, they have and they have like a genre for me, like a the so it's like manga version of manga eyes, manga eyes, Sex in the City, basically. In, in a way, yeah. And but they have something like that for like everybody. So you have stuff for twelve-year-old boys, for fifteen-year-old girls. It's like, but there's a lot of things that are reality-based. So right. I mean, they do have superheroes. They do yeah. have um, you know ridiculous like magical situations, but. You know, you you can get a little bit of reality in there, right. you okay. know. And Angela, is Jose the genre? Our, what did I call our, it? our camera guy, Jeremiah. Right, our camera guy. <laughs> just interjecting <laughs> some clarification. What did I call it? Answer, man. I thought it was Junae. It's Jose. It's Junae. Whoops. Are you sure Jose isn't for the guys? No, Jose means old. Josie, that's my favorite Blink song. What, no, I, I, I could have sworn it was called Junae. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I hate you. Yeah, you. Do it. <laughs> yeah, and, we, we and our, our answer man slash cameraman. Yeah, answer man cameraman. Mm -hmm. like All right. Whatever. Scratch what I just said. <laughs> because apparently <laughs> I'm not anime or like manga savvy enough to get it right. Sorry. Oh, oh you uh, really do look like a bitch yeah. now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm like, that was, anyway, that, that's another I'm one of those. Kidding. Right, so, <laughs> I'm kidding. And I'm trying to we're get back. <laughs> and that fits here. Sorry. Yeah, no. <laughs> I wanted to take a moment to absorb that in. OK, yeah. so um, so back in TV land. OK. Uh, so for the most part, you folks would probably say that comic books are not main, or not in the, in the mainstream. I think they're But they're getting way. there. It's inching in. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah. I'm, I think it, I, I, I think comic book characters are getting into the uh, mainstream. Especially pop culture wise. And you were talking about one of the advantages of the story. I mean, one of the advantages that uh, movies with superheroes, the superhero genre, will always have over the comics is that there has to be a beginning, a middle, and an ending eventually because right. the money's going to run out. The actors and the actresses are all going they're to want get old. different parts. Yeah, they are, they are going to yeah. get old. They can't Wolverine keep... can, yeah, he can age slowly, but he's aging pretty fast. But Halle Berry is getting up in years. She doesn't want to put on the tights forever. Mm -hmm. She so wouldn't want to. I'm just saying, She's single but, but there's a beginning, a middle, and the end. That's why my mom, you know, can get into, you can actually sit down right. with me and say, oh, X-Men Origins is on. Have you seen that? Right. It's really good. And she likes I'm the first, second, and third right. movie because they end. Right? Iron Man 3, I think, or Iron Man 3, I wish. No, um, Iron Man was, I think, the movie that kind of really cemented um, people respecting like comic book movies and stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. even the comic book community was just like, yeah, we got nothing. We cannot diss this, you know, because yeah. it was it right. was that good. And, and that's an and that's an interesting point there, bringing up Iron Man, because now that's the movie that's bringing in all the continuity from you know with the upcoming movies from Thor and Captain America. Mm -hmm. Spoilers, right. um, you know, <laughs> they're they're actually trying to do the movies are trying to actually impersonate, you know, do what the comics do and have an ongoing story. But how long can they right. keep that up? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it'll be it'll be exciting to see the 
these heroes, these heroes from different movies sharing the same universe. I think that's going to be really exciting to see and see how well that pans out. So, all right, well, then this is a pretty, pretty good start yeah. to uh, what's going to be happening. Uh, you can look forward to more episodes. We're going to feature local comic book artists and writers trying to promote their work. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for more fascinating uh, topics like women in comics, uh, race in comics, <laughs> comics in comics. It's going to be out. That's comics with an X and comics with two S's and a silent Q. No, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Is that camera even on? Anyway. Well, all right, then. Well, thanks for, for coming to watch We Got Issues. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. We got a subscription. <laughs> and scene. <laughs>